Hello, this is Dr. Tim Liptrap, and I am here talking about the internal rate of return. Uh, and this is example 10.5 on page 459 in Dr. Lasher's textbook. This will, uh, re this will relate to problem number six that you have due in your homework in the same chapter. So what we're looking at is the something called the IRR or the firm. And it's similar to the project that we were doing in, in number two, whereas you would have or where you are given a series of dollars. So the first one is you are given five thousand dollars. See if I can bring this in a little bit here. And that is you're given five thousand dollars right here in to start the project. And you first year you're gonna make one thousand, the second year you're gonna make two thousand, and the third year you're gonna make three thousand dollars. So if you can see those right here as we go through. Well the firm has with this this cost of capital of eight percent or they're borrowing the money. And the question is is that a good idea uh, at eight percent? And then yes or no. And it, what happens if the cost of capital is ten percent? That's a little hard to see there. So let me see if I can bring this up here just a little bit. So if you can see that, if the, what is the cost of capital if it's ten percent? Is a good idea. Well, the way that we build this process is something called guessing, and you have to understand that this is a guessing process. You have to say, well, is 8% good? And let me show you my little chart that I did. So if you have internal rate guess is 12% good, 10% good, 9% good, 8% good, 7% good. Basically what we're trying to do in this particular problem is we are trying to get, let's see if I can show you this chart, we are trying to get the IRR to be equal to zero or the closest we can to zero and the internal rate of this is called the internal rate of return if your internal rate of return happens to be greater than the interest interest rate I'm going back to the page here this is it's hard to see it says if the IRR is greater than the interest rate then you are going to accept it if the IRR is less than the interest rate then you're going to reject it. So what we're looking to do is we're trying to get our IRR to be zero. And when we can figure out what the IRR is at zero, that will then tell us what our interest rate is. So at the zero point, if we are getting, say for instance, the IRR is a zero at 12% and the bank is offering us 8%, then we would accept the project because it, it makes sense. But if the project is 8% and the bank's willing to lend it to us at 10%, then the project is a no-go. It's a very simple process that we're going to do. It's the same exact thing that we were doing before. We are going to create the, the problem and we are it's the NPV problem that we're going to run into. So let me just show this to you. So you take the you get your cost of capital right here, $5,000, that's your cost of capital. So that becomes a negative $5,000 plus 1,000 and it's a PVFA. Now this would be, since this is C1, it would be a PVFA of K1. And then here would be $2,000 PVF, sorry there's no A on the end here, PVF, sorry, K2. So that's my bad, that's, there's no F on the end, there's no A in the end, plus our next number is three thousand dollars because that's C three, so this is C three, and it'd be P V F K three. So basically, what you're doing is you are running the base, same basic equation that you had before. N P V is equal to the cost of capital plus the first year times P V F K one plus two thousand times P V F K two, and then three thousand P V F. K3. Again, we go to the PVF tables in order to find the numbers. And what we are going to do in this particular project is we are going to start at 12% just to show this to you. So if we're looking at 12%, the number for 12 is right here where my pen mark is. And it's a 0.8929. And then it's 0.7972. And it's 0 0.7118 and 0 0.6355. Well, we're going to start there. 
that's above the 8%. So then we're going to go to the 10%. And we're going to look at 0 0.9091, 0.8264, and 0.7583. Then we're going to go to the 8% as we are guessing. We're trying to see which ones are the best numbers. And you can see the numbers there. We've worked with them before. And then we might even try the 7% numbers. So the basic concept of this, the way we did this, was is that we ran the equation. And it looks similar to this. I actually put the numbers in. So $5,000. Now this is a 12%, so I took my 12% numbers right here, that's my 12% numbers, just wrote them down. Just plugged them in, 1,000 times 8924, 8929, sorry, plus 2,000 times 0 0.7923, plus 3,000 times 0.7118, and so then I just ran the equations, and it was negative $5,000, plus, that's not a negative, plus 8.9290 plus 1544.40 plus 2135 and then at 12% that number came in at a negative 37730. So at 12% if I go back to my little chart here the MPV was negative 37730. So that's nowhere close to being zero dollars. It's getting there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take your 10% numbers let me show you the 10% numbers. So there they are, the 10% numbers, the 0 0.9091. And then what we're going to do is we are going to run those numbers as well. And to save time on the video, I've already pre-done those numbers. So let me just show you what, what they look like. So the 10% is 184 dollars to the negative. So this would be you testing out numbers. So then I did the 9%, which was, we're getting closer to zero, was 83. Then what the bank is offering us is 8%, and we're at 22. And then we ran the numbers for 7%, 130. So since we are at, the bank offered us 8%, and we, have, we are at that zero mark, or just around the zero mark, so it's in between eight and nine, this, is where we want to be. The bank is offering this to us. So if we go back to our equation, it says IRR, it says if it is greater than, so it's $22 at, at 8%, we accept it. If it was less than 8%, we would reject it. So the answer to the problem is that we are going to accept this at 8%. Now at 10%, since it's below zero, negative 84, as the problem's asking, the cost of capital is 10%, we would reject this. So let me just recap. What you need to do is you need to come in right in the same area and start guessing and plugging in numbers. It's a little time consuming, but this is the way it works. And the closest you can get to zero on our chart here, the IRR being zero, as you can see the chart in the textbook here, that, that is where you want to be. If you have any questions, please read through the chapters. If not, you can always send me an email uh, if you have any other questions to follow up.